Pierre Menard, author of Don Quixote in the Garden of Forking Paths, part one of Ficciones, a narrator describes 20th century author Pierre Menard's subterranean, interminably heroic, peerless and unfinished work consisting of two chapters of Don Quixote, chapters nine and 38, plus a fragment of chapter 22. Menard's ambition was to write Don Quixote, not an update or an adaptation, but the exact text as Cervantes had written it word for word. But Maynard didn't want to copy Cervantes, but become a person who would spontaneously produce the same book. Menard was inspired by two key ideas. One, total identification with a specific author. Become the author you admire. The second came from one of those parasitic books that put well-known characters in contemporary settings. Menard despised such books, but they did give him an idea. He did not want to compose another Don Quixote, but THE Don Quixote. Writing to the narrator, Menard explains, My intent is merely astonishing. First, he tried to acquire the same knowledge Cervantes had. After achieving a rather faithful handling of 17th century Spanish, Menard changed his mind. Imitating Cervantes, becoming Cervantes, was too easy. He wanted to continue being Pierre Menard and arrive at Don Quixote through the experiences of Pierre Menard. Menard succeeded in writing only two and a half chapters, but the narrator likes to think Menard did finish and now reads the full Don Quixote as if Menard had written it. Certain lines now sound like Menard's, though of course they're identical. Menard claims Don Quixote is accidental, unnecessary. He read it once when he was 12 or 13, and it's as hazy to him as an unwritten book. In the 17th century, it was reasonable, maybe inevitable, that Don Quixote would be written. In the 20th century, it's almost impossible for someone to write Don Quixote. Comparing specific passages, the narrator finds Menard's ideas even more astonishing even though the words are the same. Menard's style is archaic and affected. Cervantes is natural. Heroic in the narrator's eyes, Menard undertook a task that was complex in the extreme and futile from the outset. He notes Menard destroyed all his drafts and says Menard believed to think, to analyze, and to invent were ordinary human activities. Menard's legacy, a new technique of reading. Reading a well-known work differently through deliberate anachronism and erroneous attributions, as if it came from a different time, or one would attribute a work to the wrong author. Borges turns literary criticism into fantastic literature. Pierre Maynard raises questions about what an author is and how meaning is created. The copied work is aesthetically superior to the original, but the two works are identical. The narrator should not be able to differentiate between the two works, let alone find Maynard's subtler. But he does, showing how meaning changes according to who the reader thinks the author is.